Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ravencoin, RVN. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down below, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. While you're down there, if you could tap the like button, that would be great too. All right, let's get into this. Ravencoin. It's not looking as very good, honestly. <laughs> um, it's unfortunate. So we, uh, you know, let's just do a little recap here really quick. So we've been following this uh, triangle pattern here for a while now. And, uh, you know, we followed it down, we followed it up, and then we were hoping to hold support at the 618 here. Uh, if I drew the Fibonacci in a different location, it would have been the 786. And then we also had this rising, broadening wedge that was forming. Now, the good news is we, you know, reached the target for this rising, broadening wedge. So I'm actually going to delete the rising, broadening wedge now because we have completed and fell to the target. Uh, the What I had said in my last video is I really wanted to see the weekly candle come up and hold above the blue line. And as you can see, we did not do that. And what's even more unfortunate as of right now is Ravencoin is coming up to retest it as now resistance, which was previous support. Now, I mean, one thing that I've always said about trend lines is, you know, and patterns, they don't always work out. Uh, so one of the thing we can look at here is if I grab a new trend line from where I started over here and I pull it across, you know, I mean, even that it's just really, ugh, just doesn't look clean. And then you continue to make all these new trend lines. And I mean, so you can see from the wick over here to this wick, kind of to that wick, but more like to the new wick from this new uh, weekly candle, you know, you're touching there. Then that, what that would do is it would extend this trend down here, which would also make my time target for our breakout right here. We'd have to move this over. I don't know. It just gets kind of dirty. And I'm not really a big fan of that. So let's just go with the assumption that that trend is not there. And my trend line was accurate from the get-go. And we broke through, and now we're coming back to retest. The other problem is, is if you look at our Fibonacci's here, we have fallen below the 786 as well. We're also coming up to retest that 786. So, I mean, this is not the greatest news for Ravencoin, uh, honestly. Uh, but... Um, Maybe we can find some good news here. <laughs> I'll keep looking. I actually haven't looked at the chart in a little bit, so we're going to kind of just do this live. I was hoping I'd see some kind of a divergence, bearish di or bullish divergence. I don't see that. Um, you know, let me make this volume here. Bars a little bit brighter so we can all see it. And, you know, then we look over here. The volume is just diminishing. Um but we still have not come down. So the next, all right, let's just assume we're just going to keep going down from here. Where are our next targets? Okay. So if you're looking for next targets to purchase Ravencoin, if you still believe, or if you do believe in the project, not saying I don't, uh, but if you, you know, are one of the people that still believe in this project, you still believe that we're going to break above this previous support now turned resistance, and we're going to have a big breakout here to the upside. Um, but we do have a little bit more to go to the downside. You know, your first target would be, you know, at this white line right here, previous low, local low over here at just, uh, you know, 0172. Then if you go down a little bit lower, our next price target for it to find some kind of a support would be around the 0110. And then the final one would be the COVID crash target over here, which is around the 0080. Uh, now, let's just hope we don't get down there. Honestly, you know, to tell you my honest opinion, of what's going on here. Uh, Ravencoin, in my opinion, really needs to hold in this area right here. If this starts breaking down to a lower position down here to my next price target, that's that spells really bad news for Ravencoin, in my opinion. That tells me that I think that Ravencoin is just going to either continue sideways for a long period of time in possibly this channel right here. I can't imagine it's going to break its lowest low over here on the C19 crash, uh, at least for this chart. I don't know how far it goes back. I believe this is uh, maybe. I don't know where the beginning of Ravencoin is, honestly. 
But if we do come down to this area, uh, that spells really bad news and very long-term accumulation, in my opinion, for Ravencoin. Uh, and so let's just kind of hope that we stick around this uh, higher area right here. And honestly, the best possible scenario right now is for us to just fake out, which, you know, is actually something that happens all the time, especially in triangle patterns. A lot of times you'll get a fake out to the wrong side uh, where the breakout is going to happen. So let's say we were breaking down, but the price was all the way up here. Then we had a break to the upside. It gets everybody excited. Oh, yeah, we're going up. And then all of a sudden it's a fake out and you just fall right through. Now that happens all the time. OK, and so the same thing could be said for the downside. So we could have a break, a fake out to the downside, break back above, find our support again at that 786, find our support above this previous uh, support now turned resistance and we get back into our triangle here and we can continue on to the upside. That would be the best case scenario is that this is a fake out. And there's a lot of things leading uh, me to believe that that is possible. We've got our RSI continuing to move to the upside here. We're creating higher lows. That one's kind of an equal low. Uh, but there's a chance that we cross back over above this uh, red moving average here. We've got the money flow is still in the green on the weekly, so that's a good sign. We've got our trend directional momentum creating this larger wave. Now, I had said previously back here that I thought the wave was going to be created and we were going to come back up. I didn't think that the wave was going to be this big. And let's actually open this up. You can see that I actually was thinking this wave where you can see this, uh, where it kind of got knocked down. I don't know how to describe this. The wave was coming down right here and it looked like it was about to curl right there. And then we'd probably get one of those green dots right here. But in fact, what happened is we started to make that move. FTX destroyed the, the crypto market and then it continued to the downside. So, I mean, there's still a chance that we create this wave. Honestly, this could just be, you know, FTX just destroying the market. We were already touching our support and then FTX came in. And to tell you the truth, uh, again, I keep t honestly to tell you the truth, you know, I'm an honest person. So uh, anyway, you know, we were already touching the bottom here and FTX just destroyed the market and Ravencoin still held this area right here. That tells me that, you know, I mean, honestly, I mean, this could have fell all the way, you know, down here very easily with that FTX news, but we only fell right in this area right here and we held it and we're doing just fine there. So that's another sign of strength for Ravencoin. I do believe that there, that this is wanting to come up and break out over here at the beginning of the year, uh, depending on all the news. Now, uh, there's whispers that the XRP case is going to, you know, be settled here, maybe tomorrow. I think they said Wednesday, which would be tomorrow, my time. And, um, you know, possibly sometime around there, that could be a catalyst for a very big move in the crypto markets. Uh, there's also this conspiracy theory going around that the United States is going to use Bitcoin to back the U S dollar instead of uh, instead of it being a petrodollar, because the petrodollar is getting destroyed right now. And so the, there's conspiracy theory that Bitcoin's going to be back in it. Who knows what's going to happen with that? Uh, but what I do know is this is still looking like it wants to come to the upside. Another good sign of strength here is that Ravencoin did hold this previous. I mean, we didn't come all the way down to the wick down here, but the body candles are still holding this previous. And they're actually making a higher low. If you just go by the body candles, they're making a higher low over there. So that is uh, another sign of good news. Uh, let's go down to the four hour time frame before we wrap this up here. And we'll just kind of see what's going on down here. It's not really forming a pattern, uh, but it does look like the RSI on the four hour is attempting to break above the 50 line. You can see that we've had one, two, three attempts to get a nice move above the 50 line. Uh, but we are finding resistance on my cloud here, the 20 and the 50 EMA cloud. And so also, let's see a Fibonacci here from top to this bottom. Sorry, I want to clean this up a little bit. I got a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, okay, so from top to bottom, it looks like we are finding resistance right here at the 618. So, I mean, there is a chance that this could be an M pattern forming right here. And if that is the case, and we do have an M pattern forming, well, that would be like probably right there. Uh, let's see where, and that actually takes us right down to my next target there, uh, if that does form. 
and happen. Uh, and it is getting rejected off the 618 multiple times on the four hour. Uh, and we did have the one wick come up and hit the 618. Then we've had these body candles trying. You can see the bottom wicks here. They're, they're attempting to get up there, but they're having problems. And it looks like it's about to roll over. Now, the best case scenario here is we come down and we hold uh, you know, make a higher low. So let's do a Fibonacci because I'm going to assume that's a top right there. So let's do a Fibonacci from this bottom into this top. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'd probably want to see it come down to just around two cents, just over two cents here at the 618 to create that higher low. And if we do that on the four hour, we could be looking at a possible triangle pattern forming at the bottom here. Uh, of this drop. Now, a lot of people are going to say that that's bearish, which, you know, they're right. It is bearish. You don't want a triangle pattern forming on a fall here. That could be considered a pennant flag, which could drop you even further. A uh, triangle pattern, which obviously, uh, you know, this is going to lean towards the downside. I think 60% of these move to the downside if the pr uh, prior move was to the downside. Uh, you can see that we were holding on for dear life up here at that 618 on the four hour. Uh, but anyway, so pay attention to this move. When is, where does this take us to? This takes us to November 17th at midnight-ish, which is in a couple days. But honestly, most of the moves happen right around here. So around 3 or 4 a.m. is where I'm going to expect this move to do something. Now, there is a good chance that we that Ravencoin falls to retest this low here. So if you're looking for, if you get this in time, this video, uh, if you're looking for a quick scalp short, you know, look at this one right here. Uh, that is a, that's a six, uh, six and a quarter percent move. Put that on 10 X leverage or something like that. Looking pretty good. Uh, so then you got that going on. And then after it hits that, pay attention to this next move here. If we come down, I'm assuming we're going to find support right here. If we come up, but we cannot retest this top side and we do, we leave this gap right here uh, and then we come back down. That's telling me that there's a very good chance that we're going to break down and, re and come down to test this level right here. So, I mean, in the next couple of days, draw your lines out here. Pay attention to this fall because I'm assuming it's going to fall down here. There's a very good chance. And then when it has the, uh, when it comes back up, to retest if we cannot come up and reach this top line and actually let's do a Fibonacci here just from those locations so as you can see if we can get up and we hit this 618 again and we cannot even touch this white line here or most likely it's going to hit this 0.5 or the 382 and then it's going to fall down below so just pay attention to that move right there because I do think that that is you know uh, you know, out of 100%, that's about 70 to 80% likely that that's what's going to happen coming up here soon. Um, but who knows? You know, I'm just a guy on the internet, <laughs> you know, drawing charts. It could, I could be completely wrong. Maybe we don't get any lower and we just break up from here. Who knows? You know, but that's kind of what I see is happening here. So pay attention to buys down here at the 0171. I'm hoping that's not the case because you want, you're looking at this higher time frames. Here's the daily. I mean, the daily, you know, actually, let's go to the daily. So the daily got a green dot here on the uh, momentum. Uh, but the problem is, is the RSI did not cross. So you got the green dot here and you didn't get the cross on the moving average on the RSI. So that's that's not a good sign right there because I would expect a cross to happen right there. Uh, and it looks like it's actually about to get rejected. And we're probably going to do something like this now that I'm looking at it. We're probably going to have this wave come down, create a smaller wave and then come down like this. And what, what that is going to do is it's good for the RSI. It's going to come back down. We're going to either create a higher low on the RSI or we're going to create a divergence on the RSI, come down lower than this right here. And then the price, maybe the price comes in and it's a fake out down here. You get a higher low on the price. You get a lower uh, low on the RSI and that's creating the div divergence or um, maybe I don't know. Who knows? I'm just throwing out scenarios here. Uh, you know, kind of just pay attention, basically pay attention to this triangle. Now I'm just starting to ramble. So let's uh, go ahead and close this out here. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep rambling. Uh, yeah, Ravencoin, eh, not looking too good. Uh, so pay attention to the levels I talked about. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, please leave a like down below. It tells YouTube that people like my stuff and it's going to promote it to other people. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, just remember, I'm just a dude on the internet. That's not my exit. How do I normally say this?
<laughs> uh, not financial advice. Just a just a dude on his computer. Okay, I'm out of it. Talk to you later.